Hello, we're Team AnswerMater, and this is our project, which is no ordinary answering machine. In fact, it has several useful features, including custom scripts. The way you use these is by entering your cell phone number, and then when you call in on your cell phone to your home phone, it will, instead of picking up, or instead of ringing, it will pick up automatically and allow you to enter codes to perform different tasks. So I picked up. Now I have to enter my super secret login. And now I can do different things like turn on an LED, turn it back off, or even play a sound just for fun. Uh, now let me hang up. So the scripts over here, you can run them manually from the console, or the, the UI, and then you can also create your own scripts, and it comes with a little bash template, although you could write it in Python or any other language. Um, and it's a pretty simple way, just you register your script with the codes and description, and then you write code different, uh, for the different uh, dial tone, or DTMF tones. So I'll save this. It shows up in here. I can enable these, so if I didn't want this part to run, I could do that. And I'll delete that for now. Uh, the next feature is Do Not Disturb. So to demonstrate this, I'll no longer be the owner, just to simulate some random person calling in. And I am in the context, but I'm not a favorite. So favorites are allowed to ring through on Do Not Disturb. So instead of ringing, it will just hang up on me. There we go, it hung up. Now I'm going to edit my contact. We have the option of choosing a ringtone, um, and if you pick favorite, it'll default to a certain ringtone. You can still change it, and if you're not favorite, it goes to a different one. So that way, in general, you can tell if someone's a favorite or not, unless you've customized it. Anyway, now I'm a favorite, and I'll call in again. This time it will ring with that uh, ringtone that was selected, and I'll uh, yeah, be able to call in. So now I'm going to leave a voicemail just to demonstrate that function. So I'll wait for the voicemail tone. There we go. Hello, this is a voicemail, a message to me in the future and everyone watching. All right, bye. So after the voicemail is done, uh, I can see that the voicemail appears up on here, on the dashboard. Uh, a lot more useful than just having it in the physical answering machine device and get to it from the interface. So, I can play it. Hello, this is a voicemail. I can pause it. It'll keep playing where I left off. A message to me in the future and everyone watching. All right. And I can stop it. It'll go back to the beginning. Hello. This and I can delete it. So the call log will still be there, but the voicemail is gone. The next feature is a console page. This is just uh, for running some quick commands on the Raspberry Pi. So ls, pwd, cd, all this. And if I want, I can press the up arrow to go to the previous command. So that's pretty nice. Of course, uh, it doesn't have like full functionality, so if I want an actual shell, I can just SSH to this and I'll have full access. Um, and so that's it for our demo. I hope you enjoyed the answer meter.